Who is more South African? This or this? There is a big story that is going on in South Africa right now. Remember that Chidima was actually disqualified and she withdrew from the race. You know, a lot of allegation on her. According to what she cited in her letter, uh, she said, you know what? My family is being threatened for the life of my family or the security of my family and withdrawing from this race. And then there was a jubilation in South Africa based on that because they don't want anybody that looks like them to actually get uh the miss south africa that is what a lot of people are really coming out to see on social media right now i got to understand the story from different point of view because a lot of people are now giving their voices to this and i will expand the topic in this particular video before i dive in i want to say thank you guys for watching my videos and thank you for the love so far if you are new here you can click the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. There is a particular report that says Malema is right to say South Africans are the people committing most crimes in South Africa. Yes, recently a South African was caught at the border between South Africa and Zimbabwe. This guy was trying to smuggle a car that he stole from South Africa into Zimbabwe and he was caught on uh, that particular road. And a lot of people are really happy with that, uh, showing for that most of this crime that South Africans are really accusing all African countries of committing in their country, they are the ones committing the crime and pinning it on others. That is what it is right now. And this justifies uh, the words and the sayings of uh, Julius Malema. What is your own take about this? Miss South African interesting story. That is what a lot of people are trying to talk about. Right now is trending on Twitter and South Africans are happy that Chidema didn't make it to the finals. That is what it is right now and some people are really condemning this and even Tyler actually came out to condemn this saying that man, uh, she believes in her own opinion that Chidema was bullied no matter what or any situation and then she went ahead to say Chidema God got you you have to like I wish you all the best and the rest ever since she came up with this particular tweet right now a lot of South Africans are really against her at a time like this some people are already calling for the cancellation of Tyler Tyler is a promising young African artist according to the story and now having a root of foundation in South Africa owing to her parents and that is the story that is long gone right now. You know, according to report, a lot of people are saying that she may be facing uh, a backlash or she may become a second Chidema at the end of the day because South Africans are now digging deep into her foundations. That is what it is. And she has represented South Africa at a level up to the Grammy Awards level. These people are ready to cut out Tyler. That is what the uninteresting story is all about right now, ever since coming out to support Chidema in her own story. In the words of Tyler, she came out to say, I am disappointed uh, this happened to Chidema in South Africa. That is what it is and a lot of people are not comfortable with that. The South Africans are not really comfortable with that. Already calling for the cancellation of Tyler because she condemned bullying and she tagged what they did to Chidima as bullying and some people can really understand it from different you know, point of view. South Africans are really excited that a white actually got uh, these Miss South Africans. Yes, everybody is a South African if you are eligible enough. But you need to understand that the closest person to Africa is Chidima than the person that actually won Miss South Africa. Congratulations to South Africa. They should stop complaining that the whites are taking over their land. That is something a lot of other African countries don't want to hear from them because they love it according to what is really being trended on social media right now. When you go on Twitter, you see a lot of them celebrating all of this as a win at a time like this. A particular social media user came out to say, yes, Tyler may be another Chidima at the end of the day because uh, Tyler's mom is uh, of Irish lineage and the father is 
Mauritius. That is what it is right now. And I think I have to understand the dynamics. You know, South Africans, they have a basic problem and that a lot of people have called xenophobic, Afrophobic and all those kind of things. That is what a lot of people are really saying at a time like this. Most high profile crime in South Africans are being committed by South Africans according to what was being alleged by Julius Malema. That is something we got to understand because when most of them are being arrested, they say that they are South Africans and when you check their own particular background, you will understand that they have a South African background to an extent. I want to infer something. You know, I remember the story of AKA and a lot of people are keeping short on this particular thing. If AKA being one of the legendary South African vocal voice, you know, in terms of rap and some social issues and these guys still went ahead to poof AKA, that means <laughs> South Africans, they have a really bad problem and they need to actually deal with it, you know, self-consciously. That is something I believe because nobody is coming to help you to deal with this kind of problems. It's a basic problem in them. They don't like what is successful at the end of the day. Successful people in South Africa, you need to really, really be careful at the end of the day. If possible, always use you know, security details around you because yes, South Africans, they have something you know, basic with them. I want the successful ones among you to always protect themselves. That is something I kind of understand because I learned st something from the story of AKA, uh, AKA who was like, you know, poof in South Africa, that is really uh, disturbing at the time and a lot of people can really attest to that based on the police investigations and not being able to find the particular sponsor, not the particular uh, poofers of AKA. That is something I want you guys to understand about the whole thing. And they are trying to extend this right now to Tyler because she made her voice heard on the story of uh, Chidema in South Africa. Many people have come out to say, you know what? Chidema is being hated because she has a Nigerian origin to an extent. That is what a lot of people are really saying. And something was pinned on the family of Chidema. And before they verify that, they started mounting, you know, kind of pressure on Chidema. Right now, uh, the South African, uh, you know, parliament is saying that, yes, home affairs uh, office, they need to actually submit a report on Chidema. And this is really having a toll on South Africa internationally in their immigration policies and other things. That is something a lot of people are getting to understand from this big story. What is your own take about this? I want you to put that in the comment section so that we can talk about it further. Before I jump off, I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below, the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos.